What's up, party people? If you're here for a party, well, you're in the wrong place. If you're here to check out a party camera, well, darn it, that's exactly what we're gonna do today. And thanks to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. We're shooting with the Polaroid Now Plus, which isn't Yo Mama's Polaroid camera. And it isn't Yo Yo Ma's camera either. That is, of course, your opinion. This is the latest instant camera from Polaroid, and unlike its predecessors, it connects to an app which unlocks additional features. We started our photo walk around a new neighborhood by taking some standard Polaroid snapshots. The camera includes six photo filters. The first one we tried out was the blue filter. If you've watched our videos before, you probably know how much we love using color to set the mood. Here, the blue filter complemented the moody overcast beach. The next day, we had a bit more sun, so we tried out the orange filter. This really gave the shot a vintage California in the 70s vibe. There's also a yellow filter, which looks basically the same. Still a vibe though. The feature we were most excited to try out was the double exposure. This usually isn't possible with instant cameras, but you can enter into double exposure mode with the app or by double pressing the plus button on the front of the camera. We love blending our subject with their environment in a double exposure, and that's exactly what we attempted to do with these. They turned out, Fine. There's also a red vignette filter. Pretty interesting. The underexposed shot with the vignette made it look kind of like a sunset. Another filter, maybe a little gimmicky, was the starburst filter. Still fun to try out. Now another key feature is the ability to adjust the settings manually. The aperture goes from f11 to f64. The shutter goes from 1 to 100th of a second, all the way to 30 seconds, and even bulb mode for longer exposures. There's a light meter at the top that will actively display your exposure as you adjust your settings and composition. You can also choose your lens. The standard is the 35 millimeter equivalent of a 40 millimeter lens, and the close-up lens is the 35 equivalent of a 35 millimeter lens. The last feature we wanted to try was the light painting mode, which allows you to open up the shutter for an extended period of time. Um, so I'm gonna come down the stairs. All right, three, two, one, go. To take it up a notch, we also added a double exposure to the light painting, featuring our dogs. Carlton, we be in our photo buddy. Ready guys, one, two, three. There it was. Right. We realized after the fact that we left the orange filter on the lens. Still a vibe though. Okay, ready? Now. Squarespace! All right, my first time making a website. I'm a little nervous, but I'm excited. Let's do this. I'm already done making my website. Are you surprised? I am. I'm really impressed with Squarespace's blogging tools. Yay. Whoa, they've got email campaigns? I'm totally gonna send one. <sighs> that was totally worth it. Look at all this traffic overview. It's all right here. A year ago, I didn't think I could have my own beautiful website, but Squarespace made it so easy. Thank you. This year, give yourself the gift of your own beautiful website with Squarespace. Save 10% when you use the code MANGOSTREET at checkout. Head to the link in our description to get started. 
Overall, we had a fun, no pressure time shooting with this camera. Magic. As photographers, it can be fun to try something completely different and enjoy photography in a new way. In general, we'd prefer more tactile controls on the camera as opposed to using an app, but it's nice to see a little bit of innovation with the classic Polaroid camera. Having the photo physically in your hands after shooting always makes for a nice memento. So while you probably won't get the most amazing shots for an instant camera, the bottom line is it's a camera made for fun. See you next time, party people. Oh, and here's some outtakes of our dogs.